Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Oxygen, not included, none other than the Frosty Planet. I am just loving this. I don't know if you got I don't know if anyone's even still watching this series. It hasn't been the most popular, but I don't care, because I'm gonna keep playing this. I just love the slow grind towards sustainability. I love that I, I actually really like how difficult it is to get things sustainable in this game. Obviously, if you know all the strategies and the cheesiest ways to do things, you can get there way sooner than I have. I know people have massive bases by cycle 100. But at the same time, it's not... Uh, I think I actually have too much water here now. Um, it's not, you know, trivially easy to, uh, to get everything sustainable. So I've just really enjoyed kind of the slow process towards like, okay, we're not having to use dupe labor for everything. That sort of thing. I did get this built. Um, so ideally I can make some Atmos suits. But I'll need reed fiber, which is going to come from the Bamiths once they have gotten a little more processed. Um, and in the process of building that, I released some brine water that got mixed in here, which I think is okay. Um, it has r pretty high th thermal capacity and conductivity is fine, just like water. So that's not a big deal. Um... Yeah, ethanol has a pretty low thermal conductivity, so it's not the best, but at least it will hold a cool temperature and exchange a lot of that temperature with these temp shift plates. So I think it's still better than air over here. Um, and every time you restart the game, you have to move this again, but yeah. So we're looking for negative 14. We finally cooled things off over here, but there's just so much warmth coming from both directions now. These wood heaters, you know, finally made too much heat. And the problem is you can't just insulate their bedrooms because these are gonna make, uh, just gonna fill up their bedrooms with CO2. So it's like, I want oxygen to flow in, but I don't, but then if we do airflow tiles that you can't really insulate things. So it's kind of an interesting, like we almost need to insulate an entire square where they live and let it warm up inside of that. Also, I did notice the chilly surroundings is not fixed by having a warm coat. So Lodro still isn't sleeping well, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I really want to, to deal with one of those things. So did we ever get that yellow research? No, not quite. So I'll finish that and our goal is now to slowly work towards steam from one of these volcanoes because there's so much magma. Um, magma is just igneous rock. Eventually it will cool down, but you can get a lot of power from this without even having to worry about igneous rock for a while. Um, so I probably won't Wow, even this obsidian is crazy hot. Wow. Okay. The abyssalite's crazy hot too. And... Yeah. Can we mine that? I mean, it's thermal conductivity zero, right? Or is it technically slightly above zero? I'm not actually sure. 1300 degrees Yeah, we'll probably mine it and just leave it there, but then the obsidian does have Conductivity So I'm gonna have to put metal tiles just next to the obsidian just to leach that heat off and we'll get tons of heat from that So now we can do our materials science Station which consumes rad bolts and units per research point point. Uh, I have no idea what any of this means. It doesn't look like... No, it does need power. Yeah, it does need power. Um, I'm just gonna make... Make it uh, self-sustaining here. Which, I know this isn't, like, the best strategy of all time. Given what I've already talked about having issues with, but it's wh whatever, whatever, it's fine. Nothing is the matter. Uh, but how do I make rad bolts? Rad 
Radbolt input port. Manual Radbolt generator. Huh. Radiation lamp. Emits radiation when powered that can be collected by Radbolt generator. Requirements uranium ore. Um. To my knowledge, I haven't found uranium yet. Which is problematic. Um, wait, what is the difference here? It's rad bolts in the direction of your choosing. Oh, wait, what? So do I need to place this so they like shoot into that? Does it need to be down a tile? I don't even know how this works. Or does that like vacuum up rad bolts? Uh, I have no idea how any of this works. Um... No fabrication skill. Okay, so I need apparently uranium, which I have not seen anywhere. So we need a radioactive ore, which I have not found. Uh, can I search? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Sedimentary rock is not going to do it. Granite's not going to do it. Mafic rock is not going to do it. <laughs> well? What the heck then? Do I need to go to another asteroid? Hmm. I am going to move that down a tile because I feel like that's not going to work. But I'm going to try it just so I can see what happens first. Wait. Emits radiation. When powered, that can be collected by a Radbolt generator. But this is a Radbolt generator. I'm doubly confused now. So... That just emits radiation. So there's some other form of Radbolt generator that probably collects ambient radiation. Um, yeah, so I did find out about another planet. There, There's a teleporter over here. That goes to... What happened to Bulby, by the way? Um, that goes to this other planet. But I don't really know anything about it. So... We could teleport there, though, and find out what happens. So maybe I should do that. Why don't we pop open... Oh, there's crude oil right there? What the heck? Um, teleporter transmitter. Probably need to mine down to both places. All right, so we can get to the teleporter and we can teleport over. It says it's connected to a receiver as well, so I should be able to come back. It told me that. Now, you're sick with food poisoning. Interesting. How'd that happen? It's getting all germy here. I guess I don't have two sinks is the problem. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Um... I never hooked this up to power. Let's do that. Maybe I should go looking for oil for a power source. 
Copper ore, mafic rock. You do not want to open this up. That is a no-go zone. Those things will kill you real quick if you're not ready for it. Um, yeah, that that's bad news. Yeah, this is mostly CO2 down here. So that's another problem, is I need Atmo suits. Have I gotten any reed fiber yet? Uh, doesn't look like it. When is one of you gonna be ready for... Okay, you're crowded. Let's wrangle the flocks and get it out of there. Maybe that'll make this not crowded. Hopefully four bayonets can fit in here. 65 tiles. I can make this a little bigger, I think. If you want to. But yeah, okay, the blocks got delivered out there. Okay. Perfect. Plum. Probably because of... I don't know. I don't know why, actually. Anybody close? 75%. It's only once every 10 days that they get sheared. Okay. Better pick up. Max of 9. Okay. Alright, so that's all working. Um, of course, that is that way. Need to... Try to mop this. There we go. I have another plume squash seed. Still working on cooling this area off. Getting there. These temp shift plates aren't doing a ton. Thermal conductivity of two only. Okay, what was I doing? Yeah, let's teleport a dupe. I need to come up this side. And then we'll build an Atmo suit soon. And... This is all still powering itself. Thankfully. Alright, new printable. Is it finally time for another duplicate? I did build some extra cots. So, why not? Who do we get? Requires light to sleep? No. Decreased excavation? I don't love that. Decreased creativity is fine. Vomiter is just the worst, though. So your supplying is absurd. Plus 480 kilograms. I can just give her the excavation skill. Alright, alright, you're in. Duplicate number eight. I gotta pull up my uh, Patreon list here. Duplicate number eight, you get to be named. Um, shoot. I didn't copy the list order. So now it's gonna have repeats. So I have to. How do I rename you? Uh. Where do I do that again? Oh, right there. All right, pay. You are gonna be. Do we already have a glim? I think we don't. You are glim. Glim, welcome to the base. Oh, you have a skill point. Nice. Okay. So you will just go get uh, digging. So then your excavation is just minus one instead of minus three. And that'll counteract. That'll counteract that a little bit. We will have to keep an eye on food. Um, 
There is some sleet wheat grain around the map that I can potentially process into frost buns. I should... I have 112 units of it? Holy crap! Well, in that case, that's a lot of free food. From the random sleet wheat plants that I've found. Like, down here? 72 cycles, though. That's so crazy. Okay, so let's teleport... Glim, you're going through. Your database entry. Oh, that sounds, uh... Sounds story-related. Oh, boy. What? what is going on? Data bank. Aren't you teleporting? Oh, there we go. Transmit. All right, there she goes. So somewhere on this planet. <gasps> yes. Uranium? Anywhere? I see a lot of algae. Um, I don't see any uranium. So there's got to be a way to get rad bolts without needing uranium, right? Like that doesn't. I feel like I'm missing something there. Slime is bad because everybody gets slime lung, so you don't want to deal with that before you're ready. Okay. This reminds me of a regular planet, like back back in the old days. Fossils, sandstone, sedimentary rock. An outhouse over there. Okay, so nothing too crazy. There's some planter boxes. What's all here? Sample jar. More of those data banks. Some food? Um, and you're gonna have to go mine out that teleporter. What? Wouldn't that be funny if I sent a dupe that couldn't do mining? I guess I could then send another dupe to help, but that'd be funny. Oh, there's a lot of salt over here. Okay, well, I mean, good to know um, that all of this is here. Don't really have a great way to use it yet, so we'll just teleport her back. <sighs> uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. So, no uranium, huh? Okay, there it is. There's the rad bolt generator. Attracts nearby radiation to generate rad bolts. Okay. So that's what I needed to do. I wasn't being very smart about that. And then... Reiner salt water. Robo miner, those are handy. That's how, that's one of the things you use for Sweepy bot. <gasps> what? That's so cool. I don't have extra power though. Why did I just now see that for the first time though? That's awesome. Oh yeah, and where's my plastic making? Uh, is that in here? Superheated forging? I know the plastic maker uses a lot of heat too. Or it makes a lot of heat. Yeah, that one. Polymer press. Converts petroleum or nectar into raw plastic. Interesting. I have 160 tons of ice. I probably shouldn't have allowed these to store ice. In fact, I'm gonna leave those with some ice and I'm gonna take ice out of these. 
and they can store everything else, including clothing and sublimators. Just all standard. No ice, no polluted ice. Hey, how about just no liquefiables? That's probably for the best. And that should... Yeah, that frees up a lot of space. Maybe those two as well. New log entry. How's oxygen looking? Oh, pff, amazing. We're handling CO2 like a champ. How's wood supply? We've got 10 grand. Even with the wood burner running when it needs to run. So that's handy. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I need to do over here. Polluted ice is going to melt eventually, but that's going to take a while. What is that? A self-sustaining machine absorbs, neutralizes heat when provided with hydrogen gas. Interesting. Okay, what are the temperatures looking like here? Still pretty good. Alright, I gotta turn that back on. Or the ethanol distiller. Gotta turn that back on. And then when I can... Oh, I do have two units. It's They were taken out by the textile loom, so I can make an Atmo suit. Okay. How does that work exactly then? I need an Atmo suit checkpoint next to an Atmo suit dock. Then I would need oxygen to be piped down here. And it needs power. Again, uncertain when it needs power. Does it need power just when it's refueling? Or constantly? Hmm. I guess we can find out. Um, yeah, let's rebuild some of this. Do that. Checkpoint. That way. And then you will ladder down and over. And then we'll eventually delete that. And then I'll need a gas pipe built out of something cheap to bring down oxygen only. Uh, but those have hydrogen in them. Ugh. Good gravy. It can be so annoying sometimes. Um, I could just build a pump. Yeah, let's just build a new pump and I will power it manually. So automation wire plus a signal switch. Gas pump. Gas pipe. Automation wire, signal switch. Now it's going to need power. One of those and one of those. Ooh, smart batteries are expensive. 200 iron, huh? Let's build a regular battery then. And I'll only power this once in a while. And when I want to.
Oh, I guess that should be down here. And those can stay. The ceiling, and that will be, I don't know, might as well be an airflow tile. Did I ever finish that research? No. I should probably just deconstruct this because I don't have any anything to collect. And I also want more cinnabar. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. That's important. Um, where do I have a bunch of cinnabar just waiting for me? There's wolframite. There's some cinnabar under there. There's still a good amount in here. Why don't I do that? So. How do you make it? Will that work? I think that'll work. Like, I think they can get down two steps and then go down like an L, an upside down L. I guess we'll find out. I guess we will find out. How's the temperature over here? Seems like we're holding steady still. Melting that polluted ice, that's fine, it'll become polluted water and just help spread temperature around. I'm okay with that. Alright, Radbolt Generator, that's what we want. Radiation Overlay... It seems the Weezworts are the only things making any radiation on the map. So... Tracked Radiation... Could I instead bring all this over to the Wheeze Warts? Because I don't have anything else that's radioactive. I think I actually need to copy this and move it over here. Um, yeah. I think we need to make make ourselves a little home over here. Constructed by backwall. Oh, I can get some free glass here. Only five kilograms. You know, it would be nice is free plastic. Anything made out of plastic that I can deconstruct? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, it's all granite. Or neutronium. Oh, it's just waiting until it can put the stuff in the Atmos suit. Deliver suit, please. And then, yeah, still, one of these has got to be close, right? 90%, 90%, is that the same one? That was probably the same one. 75%, okay. So we're one day away, they were able to mine out that cinnabar ore. There's also more cinnabar down here. projects. I think power has been the most difficult part of Unreachable Dig. Oh, it's from when I... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand now. I think they can walk through the liquid shutoff, so that's fine. 
But yeah, power generation, there's probably some easier ways that I haven't thought about. Um, but yeah, getting to steam is surprisingly difficult. What you really want to do is delete the steam, delete the steam, delete the heat from a metal refinery. Um, cause basically the metal refinery makes a bunch of heat, right? And you can use that heat if you have a hot coolant in there, like, or a hot coolant, something that doesn't have a, a low boiling temperature like petroleum. And then you can use that to boil water and then get the energy out of that and send it back into your system. So this, the metal refinery becomes power positive uh, once you have that going. So that's maybe something I could have tried to do sooner. What's ethanol's boiling point? Yeah, ethanol can't be used. Um, so as far as I know, I haven't found a fluid that would work as coolant then. Because I haven't been able to find petroleum yet. It's probably way down. Way down there. Now, I made a suit. Didn't I? Yeah, there's an Atmo suit right there. Don't know why it's not getting delivered. Maybe... Oh, there it is. There it goes. Now it's got some oxygen in it. Okay, now the current load is zero watts, even though things are hooked up. Perfect. So that tells me that uh, it's going to grab that CO2. I just know it. Yep, there it is. Anyway, that, that tells me that it only uses power when it's uh, charging the suit, which is nice. And how much oxygen goes into the suit? Um. Atmo suit one, 200 kilograms. Oxygen 34.3, 38.7. Still taking it all. Wow. That's more than a full day of air for a duplicate. Jeez. Did it finally stop? There it goes. Okay, I'm gonna let that run for a while. We're gonna get little bits of CO2, which will wrong element damage the dock. Which is costing me iron. Ew, I don't like that. Speaking of iron, I probably should make a few more here. And everything over here costs power. Temperature wise, we're still not cooled off, are we? Ugh. Coming back at negative 16. Yeah. Probably need more radiant tiles, to be honest. I don't know. Make that one radiant. These two radiant. That'll trade a bit more heat around this temp shift plate. Okay, 
this is almost done for a while. So the suit holds 75 kilograms, which is 75... 750 seconds of dupe breathing. Which is nice. Um, I can delete this airlock. And then I'm gonna keep keep going down here. I think once in a while it's good to have have it so that dupes have to go sideways and up a tile. What's that? Nothing I need to worry about. Um that way. And you it's also nice to build it out of stuff that's here. So once I get to Mafic Rock, I should probably make ladders out of that. Um, anyway, and that way, if something spills, it doesn't go, you know, all the way. I wish when you were building a tile, there was a just grab the closest dang thing of any of the normal rock stuff, like anything from the category mineral. Grab closest. That would be kind of cool. Because for stuff like ladders, when I'm doing this, it's like I really just want them to find the closest thing rather than run all the way back. Oh, you just had to get hungry, huh, Edison? Fine. Do I really need to make a mechanical oxygen filter here? <sighs> Probably should. That's fine. Okay, anyway, they finally got this part done. So now I build the research. Material study is 400 metal. Definitely need to deconstruct that one first. That's very low priority. finish your job? No. Uh, why don't I use igneous rock since there's a bunch of that here? Uh, <laughs> igneous rock. A pipsqueak. Why not? What do pips even do again? Diet, Arbor Tree, and Reeds. Ah, they give you dirt. That's always nice. Alright, did we finally get more Reed Fiber? Make another exosuit? Yeah. I'm gonna save my iron for now, though. And then we'll build a station here. Oh, you can't rotate it. That's kind of obnoxious. Um, so the Radbolt generator will go right next to the Weezwort. And that will go there. Wire. 
the tiles there. Mop that up. Oh, goodness. This is, a. Uh, I I feel like I'm... Am I making progress? Sometimes I can't tell if my progress is forwards or backwards, but... This is almost done, so that's good. What kind of rock we got here? Sandstone? Why don't I dig out some more sandstone, and then I'll build the rest of the tiles out of sandstone here. Oh, that's just the bottom of the map. There's no oil at all. Is there no oil on this map? Maybe that's what's going on. Maybe I really should work on this geothermal heat pump, because whatever it is, it's free. And that's kind of a big deal. So I should I should take advantage of that. Alright, I probably should be done with this episode. Uh what kind of plumbing do we need though? Reconnect heat pump? Oh, I need to deliver 1,200 kilograms of steel. I see, so it just costs us something. Okay. And then we need to pump liquids from the heat pump into the geo vents. I see. Okay, okay, we can, we can get there eventually. I think. <laughs> okay, here we go. Wait, why did I... I meant to build... That's really funny. That was supposed to be a generator, not a battery. We do need both, though. So that makes sense. <laughs> um, it's really funny. breathing. There's just not enough oxygen over here. What's our gas density, though? Gas density is still good. We're still making enough oxygen. I have so much oxalite right here. Wow. 60 kilograms a day per duplicant. I could go for like 15 days of oxygen just with what's in there alone. That's pretty good. And yeah, once in a while we're getting some power from this thing. Alright, so here's power. There it goes. Collecting rad bolts. 38 per cycle. Awaiting rad bolts. Uh oh. Does it lose its. Oh, jeez. So. I need to disable that until we get enough power. And how much does a petroleum generator consume? 2,000 grams a second. So my... Even if I'm using wood power, the ethanol distiller is using 240 watts to produce 500 grams of ethanol, which only produces 500 watts anyway. So we're using... Ha I didn't even consider that earlier. We're using half of the power that we'd end up getting just to refine it. So that's actually a really bad way to make power. You're better off just using um, 
the wood power source, to be honest. Petroleum would be nice. Hmm. So yeah, I want to charge this up and then try activating that and see if that's enough power. Oh, goodness. Um... I guess we can work on mining our way over that thing. And then this one... Not like any crazy germs over here. So let's do this. Service cart. One of the wheels is squeaky. Yeah, this whole rad thing is interesting. I don't know how much I like it or not yet. And why is our carbon skimmer not running? I guess, I guess it is when it needs to be. We're at the point where I probably should just Airflow tile, all this. Deconstruct those. Mine that out. Mine those. I will do an airflow tile here just to make a wall between the liquid and this area. Alright. I need this to be charged. So I can try this whole Red Bolt thing. And what is it? 10 rad bolts per unit? So when this gets 50 rad bolt units, then they will rapidly decay while this building is disabled. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't know how any of this is going to work. Is there a power generation method I'm missing? We don't have any natural gas. Um, there's a little bit of coal on the map. But it, yeah, it's really seeming like wood burner is kind of it. Huh. How much wood do I have? Nine plus seven thousand. Yeah, I don't think I want to throw another wood burner into the mix right now. We're spending a decent amount of power to skim the carbon. Uh, everything takes power or dupe labor or both. Sufficiently full. Oh, I need it to be like that. There we go. There we go. Come here, Edison. Do your thing. You're good at generating power. Operating is at. Where is it? Spot plus five? Is it Meta Mike that has a million? Yeah, plus 190%. There you go. Okay, so then activate this. And hopefully there's enough power in that thing. 
collect 50 rad bolts. Okay, that doesn't collect very fast. Oh wow. You need a lot of power for these rad bolts. Oh my gosh. I've only got six. Ah, oh, nuts. And it's gone. Okay, uh, that's kind of a bummer. We'll disable that for now. We're gonna need way more power than that. Oh my gosh. Or just like two wood burners, or... Hydrogen generator, even though I don't have hydrogen gas. Um, yeah, I guess two wood burners is the answer with a manual switch. So let's do this. Power. Didn't bring up the little menu or the overlay. Automation signal switch. Automation wire. So I want to be able to control them. Is there another way that using heat could get me power right now? I don't think so. None of these rely on stuff getting hotter, unless there's something that turns into coal when I heat it up. <laughs> I don't think that's a thing. There's an arbor tree over here! <gasps> oh my gosh. 300 kilograms of wood per 4.5 days? Is that... That's the equivalent of 360 every six days is what the animals do. So this is about the same. That's a lot of polluted water though. Excellent. What is that? Well, let's, let's get our way over here. There's also aluminum here, which is nice. I won't sneeze at some aluminum. And I need more oxygen. Sweet! Well, I should probably call it an episode soon. I know I said that a while ago, but it remains true. Um... <laughs> This is just the kind of game that I feel like I can play forever. It's just one more cycle. There's always something else to do. There's always something more happening. Trying to do, trying to get power solutions going. Fuel request threshold is going to be 80% for both of these. I want to keep them full. I want to keep those full. They're both going to be priority six. So that this thing can collect enough rad bolts to finally fire off. And that'll be five research points worth of rad bolts. Presuming they don't decay from the other building, which I still don't know if they do. <sighs> Steam turbine. I need 20. 20 points for that. I need to research that one first, so I should get going. And local colony lacks applied sciences research skill. I should be able to get that pretty easily on sweet corn whiskey here. And what else? Luan? What do you like? Suit wearing? 
Is that that important? Someone's gonna need rocket control station, so I might as well. Um, Glim, there's your improved carrying. You already had a bunch of strength, so now you're just gonna be total beast. You're gonna be a supply person, just like Luan. Um, Edison will give you improved tinkering. Basically, all of their tier ones that have a heart I mean that I just don't have any rocket stuff now, so that one's useless. But everybody else, the tier ones with a heart are always worth learning because they give you the same bonus that they cost. So why not? Uh, that's it for the one. Meta Mike and Sweet Corn Whiskey. Get some more strength. All right, cool. Okay. Uh oh, it's night time. They're gonna run out of wood while it's night time and this is gonna lose all its rad bolts. And I've wasted like a billion kilograms of wood. Refill. Refill. Okay, maybe the battery will actually save us. Come on somebody. Somebody, anybody. Okay, here comes Glim. Just in time. Not with enough, though. Please, please more than that. Somebody? Anybody? No? Double quest threshold. Oh, when the charge of the connected batteries falls below this. Okay. It's about the battery charge. For some reason, I thought it was the its own container size, if that makes sense. We should do it like that. Wait until the last second here. Turn it back on. Uh-oh. No deliveries yet. Someone should be delivering. There we go. That's a little better. Okay, I might actually get my 50 rad bolts. Now my wood supply is not driving. Ramped. I thought I could fit nine critters in here. Did I do the math wrong? Scoring eight out of nine. Are there eggs here? Maybe, is it counting the Bimini incubator? Uh-oh. What? What? What's going on here? Oh my. Holy, holy hot. I just, I didn't realize it's so hot down here. Um, I did think an exosuit protected you from this, though. Atmos suit. Scalding threshold plus 700 degrees. So you can handle 700, but not, not a thousand. Okay. Um, in that case, I will have to come at that from another angle. Sorry, Edison. Sorry, kid. Um, and now heat is going to spread. It should be okay. It's just gas transfer. But I may have to close that off at some point. That's extremely hot. Did not realize. It's basically volcano obsidian here. Thousand degrees. Yeah. Interesting. 
But I can come in from this other side. So I'll just have to ladder down and come over. And then there's a bunch of water. Which... Can we avoid both? We can. Can I make this out of abyssalite? No. I'll just use sandstone again. So I'll do that. And... This... All right, there we go. And that one, I have no access because that one, stupid abyssalite. And I want to start making steel. How do I make steel? Refined carbon? How the heck do I make refined carbon and lime? Lime I make from crushing lime shell, or lime shell, egg shells. Um, that much I remember. Oh, this base is such a mess. All right, I'm gonna call this an episode. Uh, we got it. We got stop somewhere. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I will see you all in the next episode.